All right, we're going to start at 125 pounds. Junior Devin Schroeder having himself a great year. Ranked number six going up against number 21, Justin Cardani, a freshman across town. Champagne Centennial, their first state champion, and he was a two-time state champion. Illinois has bookends from the local uh, high school on. with Cardani from Champagne Centennial and then Luffman, the heavyweight, from Urbana on the other side of the campus. Very neat to see that, Tim. As you know, two local bookends. And like you told me earlier, Illinois with 10 wrestlers in their starting lineup, really recruiting the hometown boys and the, the home state. And it just, it's a really good testimonial to Illinois and the high school wrestling and youth wrestling throughout the state. You talked about it a little bit, how tough Devin Schroeder is on top. So it's very important for Card Cardani to establish himself on the feet. It, absolutely interesting how these guys are both so low. They were on their knee for a while. They both are protecting their legs really well. For you young wrestlers at home, I mean, it's so critical that you're protecting your legs. This is an exaggeration as low as they're getting, but keeping your hands down, being ready to attack, that was deep. Now, this is key. Can he finish this? I mean, he's in, but finishing is no easy task against Schroeder. He's got great length and leverage. He looks confident here. Almost too confident, though. This is looking good for Cardani. Splits the middle. He needs to turk a leg. He needs to get his left foot turked around Schroeder's left ankle. I think we're going to see a stalemate here. Cardani didn't execute his finish very clearly. Stalemate. Devin Schroeder, a redshirt junior, three-time Michigan State champion out of Grand Rapids, that. Catholic Central. He'll have a teammate, Nate Limix, coming up in the lineup also at 157 today. Teammates from Catholic Central in the Purdue Boilermaker lineup. His dad, Brian, wrestled at Grand Valley State University. And Devin Schroeder paid his dues early on wrestling behind tough guys early. And now he's in that lineup and ranked number six on the flow national rank rankings. Our partner in rankings going across the bottom of your screen. Engage, gentlemen. Engage. Action. Cardani, as we said, was a two-time Illinois State Go. champion. But... He, uh, he's been uh, uh, light. He wanted 113 his senior year, and he probably weighed 113 pounds at the time. He's back in on the same shot, a knee pull across the end single, but he's made the mista same mistake again. He's just stopped without getting an angle. He, he's not really doing much to improve his position. And Tim, you just mentioned he was state champion at 113. I mean, if you're gonna give up a little size, which he is, but you gotta finish clean. You gotta cut the corner and get it, get it up in the air or split the middle quickly, not just shoot in and get stuck. But it is two shots to none. However, just he didn't really come close to finishing that one at all. Bye -bye. Half a minute left in the first period. It's 0-0. The shots have been by Cardani, but he has been fended off by the defense of Devin Schroeder. So this is a good period for Cardani. Did not give up a takedown. You know, he's staying, staying solid. He's he's lower ranked. He's keeping close, but the key is going to be Matt wrestling. We know Devin Schroeder's tough on top. As I mentioned earlier, A.J. Shop is the assistant coach of Purdue. He's one of the greatest ever at that cross wrist roll. He's a three-time All-American at Edinburgh. And, and talking to Coach Shop, you know, asking him which of his wrestlers are best and most dominant in that cross wrist position, Schroeder's right. the man. And we end the point here. Time now for our Keys to the Meat, presented by MattHoist.com. Select neutral. Start fast. Purdue's got to get it going, and it comes to Cardoni to get it done here on top. And then, again, with the bonus points, this is a chance where if Schroeder could get on top, he could do well, but Cardoni chose neutral. So it puts it puts the emphasis on Schroeder here to get some offense going. He's going three minutes, and he's losing three shots to none. He's literally not shot yet. This is good for Cardani. This, like the first takedown, he split the middle. Again, he's trying to turk that foot, but Schroeder is leeching on very well and pinching. We're going to see another stalemate, likely. Cardani needs to pop up with his head, post his left hand. He's too content with the stalemate and obviously needs some Cliff Keen headgear readjustment work. As he adjusts those, Let's look at the Illinois on, keys. The Huff Hall advantage. They've won. They're undefeated at home this year, Illinois. There's Coach Jim Heffernan. He got his 100th win as a head coach in his 12th year at Illinois last weekend. Congratulations to Jim Heffernan, one of the greats, a four-time All-American at Iowa as a wrestler and a national champion.
has coached at Lehigh, joined Mark Johnson at Oregon State, followed him to Illinois, and now in his 12th year as a head man, hit the century mark last week, and he's as good as they come from as far to, as a man and a coach. Yeah, great guy, legend, one of my contemporaries, always enjoyed watching the half battle. Oh, that was a beautiful slide by, he's not gonna have enough mat space to get it done. So Cardani's really dictated most of this match with his three shots. Schroeder's got off a half shot. That was his first real scoring effort there, and it was on the edge of the mat. Jason Wedgeberry, the head official, bringing them back to the center of the mat. I remember him, Tim. He was an outstanding high school coach in Iowa, and you growing up in Iowa, I, I would think you, you're familiar with Wedgeberry, maybe? Not, no, just, um, you're he, right. He was an outstanding coach, and now he's one of the outstanding officials in the land. I'll see him at the Big Tens and the NCAAs. I find that the, the good, good coaches make good transitions to officiating. Shot number four. You gotta come up with a finish here. The sit through is good. So he's pushing that foot down. He's trying to get his left foot around it. And obviously Schroeder does a hamstring curl, doesn't permit it. Short time, can Cardani come out? Looks like it's gonna be fended off by Schroeder, and it'll be interesting to see what Schroeder does here. He's gotta pick bottom, even though it's tempting to pick top, the safe choice is bottom. You know it tempts him though, Tim, you know, just to have that chance to get that one crack at top, but in a close match like this, so Cardani's put himself in position to win. I mean, he's got a good chance. He could fi finish his one shot, that's what he gotta do. Good call, Ken. Cardani has done a co according to script here for a chance to win for the lesser ranked freshman. Absolutely. Here at home, a great opportunity for Justin Cardani, but right now it's Schroeder's opportunity to get ahead with an escape or a reversal. Yeah, no matter how good you are on top, you got to find a way to get there, and Schroeder is yet to do that. So the escape. One, neutral. So it'll be neutral. interesting to see if he's content to, to stall out in a 1-0 one, one, one victory based on the fact that Cardani picked neutral in the second period, or if Devin Schroeder will open up, take some risks, try to score, and get on top. Well, his coach looks, wants him to. Yeah, Cardani looks fresh. And down 1-0 now in the third period, a minute 25 left against the highly ranked, number six ranked fingers. Devin Schroeder. Stay out of the fingers. So in the background, you see the Purdue coaches telling, Take, pull the trigger, get in there. They want Schroeder to, he's gonna look for a slide by here. You see his left hand. But you know, Cardani knows it's coming. He's not pushing at all. So Schroeder's not showing much offense. Cardani's gonna have the conditioning edge because he does not cut any weight at all. The Schroeder doesn't look Greg, tired. Warned, that, that's Greg, a right for warned. warning too. I mean, that's like the fifth shot if my count's correct. And with a minute left, it could come into effect. It could it, have it, an effect. Absolutely, because really Cardani's out wrestled him on his feet. He's hustled more. He just needs better technique on these finishes. He needs more speed too. Like it's not just technique, but it's better doing it more quickly. He's, he's so methodical. This is the same position we've been in. This is a good thing for, for Illinois. Now we're in a little danger zone. Oh, did he, did he get to a two count, Tim? He got to a two, but he needs a three. Past 90 degrees. And now, Schroeder coming up, his head's up. Schroeder's advantage now. Wow, what a big scramble. I mean, Cardani was so close to getting those danger points and finishing. Danger it's not one, over till. Two. Ooh, another close. And two points, 10 seconds left. Schroeder's going to pull out a win here at Illinois to get Purdue out on top, 3-0. He'll get a 3-0 win, hard fought match. And number six, Devin Schroeder wins 3-0 to give Purdue a 3-0 lead after 125. Well, it all came down to the wire there. I mean, this was a really highly contested match. Could have gone either way.